So we're going to hook up this MLX90614 thermal sensor to a Raspberry Pi. Basically what this is, it's one of these temperature gun things, you know? You point to the things and it tells you what temperature things are. Only on Raspberry Pi, so you can program it to do things automatically and yada yada yada. And it's less covered in baby milk than this one. The code is very simple. Most of this time you'll spend actually just importing um, packages and setting up I2C um, on your Raspberry Pi. Once you've that done, the code is very, you know, there's the imports. This is just setting up the ITC. It reads the data from the sensor, those two lines. It takes a one second sleep to think about its life. And then it prints the stuff that it got here. There you go. Right. It's, yeah. So I'll, I'll uh, include a link to that code at the bottom of this video. Right. So let's just start by hooking this bio up to the the Raspberry Pi. We'll do set up IOTC and then we'll press go. You got four pins, your voltage in, your ground and your two ITC pins. Top left is your 3.3, count down three and you get ground. The last two, there's your I2C. It's like a tongue twister. You know, normally I uh, like to fast forward this in a time lapse, but I think today, today we're just gonna slow it right down. Count down three. There's our, there's our power and our ground. Let's do the first ITC pin. There's the D, that's DA. What does that stand for? SCL, what does that stand for? Will we ever know? Will we ever care? There you go. That's a good round shot of what's going on there. Okay, then we're done. So now that you've got your sensor hooked up, you just go sudo raspy config it'll bring you in here you go into interfacing options and you're turning on the i2c or i squared c interface you hit enable it's already enabled there uh, do reboot if this won't work if you don't reboot also some tutorials will tell you to go into preferences and in here and config interfaces now i found that actually when i had this on didn't quite work as well as going into the the terminal and doing it so that kind of fixed at one time where it wasn't working for me so there you go um now that you've got that done you go back into the terminal and check can you actually see the sensor this is don't go past this step if this doesn't work it's not going to work if this doesn't work so you go sudo and then you go i2c detect minus y one Look at that. There's something going on there on 5A. You see? That's that's what we're looking for. That's our sensor, okay? If this is all blankety blank, your sensor's probably plugged into the wrong thing. Or you didn't reboot. Told you to reboot. Come on. So there you go. Um now I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to install these modules. So um I'm going to manage packages here and the two things I need are Blinka, Adafruit Blinka. I've already installed it here, but you can just search Adafruit Blinka, find packages and install it. I spelled that wrong, but it's Adafruit. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, Adafruit Blinka is there. Look. And the next thing you want to do is the, the slightly longer one, right? Which is this guy here. Uh, and it's Adafruit dash circuit python dash. It's this thing here. Polling does not let you copy. I'm trying to copy paste this in for your pleasure, but it doesn't work. It's just whatever was else was in the the title of this video is still in the clip board. Okay. Well, it's the one down there, right? It's Adafruit dash circuit python dash mlx90614. Search it, install it, have have all the funds, and then then run this program and what you should find when you press go it'll go yada 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 and there lo and behold ambient temperature around the room is this and the thing it's pointing at is pretty much the same because i think if i just look over yep it's pointing directly at itself as well i mean at the at the ground the table so 
I don't expect it to be massively different. Um, but I did, I did put it in my mouth. Uh, is anyone going to be using this in the next three days? No, I didn't put it in my mouth. <laughs> Um, uh, and it definitely is working so it's reading like 35 something you know cool all right so enjoy happy thermometering oh we shouldn't shoot this to the camera <laughs>